Well, it, it seems like every week there is a new study or warning coming about coming out about kids and eating. We were just talking last week about a new study that some picky eaters were two times more likely than other kids to develop anxiety symptoms. So we asked our pediatrician, Dr. Gigi Chala from Children's Hospitals and Clinics of Minnesota to share some advice. Thanks for coming in, Dr. Gigi. Oh, thanks so much for having me again. So look, first of all, this, when I first read this, I thought this can't be so, picky eating leading to anxiety symptoms, um, but, but there it is. Yeah, you know, I think um, it's still a small percentage. It's I mean, still we, small we don't want people to yeah, freak percentage. out about this. I wonder right? how much this is causation or correlation here. Exactly. Anxious kids just not wanting to try new things. Exactly. And part of it is, as a parent, really normalizing the situation and making it safe and making it feel safe for kids sure. to try new things, even from the very beginning. If you're modeling that really reasonable behavior as an adult, kids will pick up on that. Now, we mm -hmm. try all sorts of different food in our house and try to get our kids to try new foods as well. But I think like most families, you have one kid who's the adventurous eater and one kid who's a little more picky. Yeah. Are, are there tips on ways you can get those kids, you really want them to try some of those veggies or some of those grains, some of the, the foods that we all know are good for us. Right. So, but I'm not getting the seven-year-old to eat kale. It's just not, <laughs> he'll eat a kale chip. That's as good as I can get. Well, you know, I think, again, and it's about modeling it right from the very beginning as a, you know, when you're a grown up and taking that on for right, right when they're toddlers. Um, but also. And this is Matt's opportunity, well, right? So a newborn baby. Do it baby. right from the beginning, right? Okay, but I'm wondering, you know, even if that doesn't work, yeah. can I lie to these kids? Can I just sneak the good <laughs> stuff into the food you and can. get them to eat anyway? This is Absolutely. very controversial, though, right? Well, you know, the way that I think about it, this is you want your kids to have these foods, mm -hmm. right? right? And we automatically start to separate fruits go on this part of the plate, vegetables go on this part of the plate, and they don't need to. Mm. Think about um, mixing some of those up. If you put strawberries and blueberries and cut up um, green peppers mm. and you know put your peas and you mixed it all together, it would be A, beautiful, yeah. sure. and B, some of those fruits naturally flavor your vegetables and make it really palatable. So mix things up. It doesn't have to sit in different parts of the plate. I think people tend to really obsessively focus on meal time. Yeah. And it's other times of the day. When you look at childhood obesity, we're talking three out of five kids going into kindergarten suffer from some kind of obesity. Yeah. This isn't just because of what they're eating at lunch or dinner. No, it really is about lifestyle. And so, you know, if we think about how active we were as kids, we didn't have the internet. We didn't necessarily have video no. games. We were outside playing all day right. long. And so kids of you today... You can eat some junk when yeah, you're eating you all the time. And so kids of today really have a very yeah. different lifestyle. And parents need to really recognize that and make sure they modify the calories that their kids are sure, taking sure. in to account for a more sedentary life. I would think you've got to make those healthier foods easily accessible to those kids. I mean, because yep. a lot of the prepackaged mm -hmm stuff that you can grab quickly and go that's not always the stuff that's best for you exactly so a lot of carbohydrates complex carbohydrates in some of those foods and you want to get back to some of the more simpler foods fruits and vegetables yeah. ants on a log i'm always telling people ants yeah, on a log get yum. some good peanut butter celery solves all, all, all problems Love i it. think not making a big deal out of like this is healthy you need to eat it because it's healthy yeah eat it because it's good right and also that whole idea of you have to finish everything on your plate yeah you know what that's just not true Kids modify when they're full. Right. It's okay. <laughs> All right. We're at the face with the 10 year old where he just eats everything in sight. That's it's good. very yeah. scary <laughs> looking at the teenage years. That's right. We're going to be broke just feeding those kids. <laughs> very good advice. Dr. Gigi, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me.